Patong, Phuket, Patong Beach entrance through Bangla Road. This is the main, main, main strip. So if you, if you come here any time after four, it's gonna be absolutely peaking. And mind you, after four, this doesn't turn into a street anymore. This is more than a street after four. So let me just show you the entrance properly. That's what we're working with. So you enter here at this time, any, any time after 4 p.m., this isn't a street anymore. This place is literally buzzing with life. Tourists, people trying to sell you <laughs> whatever they muster up. This is what we're working with. It's a mad sunrise, look at that. I don't know how much you can see because the ND filter right now is only on two. But just random stalls left and right. Hello, okay. Morning. Morning, boss. How are you? Good morning. These are all clubs, pubs, just a random Macca's here. Apparently I've been told it's mad food. Look, worst case, worst case, we can't find a decent place for breakfast. I'm coming right back to you. <laughs> okay, well, if that doesn't get, if that doesn't scream random, that's pretty much what this entire strip is, just random. Shirts, one, one second they're selling you shirts, the next second they're flashing a uh, bloody pamphlet in front of you of naked women. <laughs> Look, we, we went to this bar actually, the Aussie bar, this is mad. Highly rate this place. There's an Aussie owner here who's been here for about 40 years. You can pretty much do anything in there. We've been to there, that bar. In Sydney, this will be a 10 out of 10 place. This will be packed out every single day of the week. This is, this is just the front entrance. You can go in further with VIP tables and DJs and someone pretending to be Timmy Trumpet on his saxophone. Okay, yeah, so I did mention in one of my prior videos the uh, <laughs> situation with cannabis and weed in this country. Every second store, there's a minimum of 500 stores, minimum. Back alleys, in alleys, everyone is selling you weed. And this is another issue. Just I'm ra walking randomly, looks like a bloody dump truck dumped his load here and kept going. And this, you go down this strip, expect to be touched 100 times and you can't do nothing about it. Trust me, I'm talking from first hand. That strip right there, you're gonna to be touched. You can't do nothing about it. This strip is closed, I believe, um, after four. This is Tattoo Pala. I haven't seen many people in here, to be honest. Aussie owned there? Okay, so there you go. Another Aussie owned place right there, the Tattoo Pala. This, I haven't seen many people in here either. I don't know how this place, place makes money. The, it's an arcade place. Look, to be fair, if you're not gonna come to this country to play bloody arcades. I don't even do that crap in Sydney. So, yeah, I don't know how they make money. I reckon if you come in next year, that's gonna be another bar or something. Something else I'm yet to try is all these food vendors. Like, they're prevalent everywhere. And to be fair, right? Oh wait, 7-Eleven, do we need anything? No? To, to be fair, they are very hardworking people here. Very hardworking, so, regardless of what they sell you or try to sell you, you gotta at least respect the grind. Like, technically, there are more entrepreneurs per square, per square capita here than there is in Australia, and that is commendable. Also, what I've realized in this place, like everyone's trying to copy famous clubs, like that's Ibiza, but spelt backwards. Like, <laughs> this is Cafe Dubai, like this is far from, as far from Dubai as you can get, for example. And there are some other, obviously famous 
bars, clubs, clothing, cafes, that uh, everyone just tries to copy and oh, okay. If you come in here, if you come in here, the strip, don't don't even waste your time in there. It's absolutely rubbish. Okay, so you saw how fast you can look at the time in the bottom. It only took us five and a half minutes to walk from one end to the other. If you come here at peak hour, anywhere from 6 to even 4 a.m. But mind you, these places don't close some of them to like 6. But if you come here peak hour from 6 to midday, midnight, sorry, it's going to take you probably triple the amount of time to walk from one place to the other. Just expect that. How are you, boss? I'll have a look, but I already have three pairs of glasses. I've been mean, sold everything, boss. I'll have a look, I'll have a look. How's the day, bro? Very good, how are you? Yeah, amazing, bro. Take a look, bro. You can try it, bro. Try it, bro. I try it on, boss, but I already have three. Yeah, just take one more. One more? No way, one more. How much, how much? How much? Tell me. Just give me five hundred, okay? Money okay, you want, to be, you want me to be honest? I paid average two hundred baht each. Really? Yes. This is a little bit good quality, bro. First okay. One. Does this bend? Yeah, bend. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Is this Polaroid? Is this Polaroid? Yeah, Polaroid. It doesn't look like it. Is oh, it, it does. Look. It, it is. It is. Is, is, it, is it, bro? Look, boss. You yeah. are. Give you're, me morning, morning price. You know. I you're an honest man. You're an yeah. honest man. But I can't pay three hundred or uh, five hundred. No way. Sorry. Give me three fifty, okay? I can't pay three fifty. How much is it? Because I have three, the max I can pay is two hundred. Yeah. How much? Two hundred max. Bro, give me. You are also happy. I also happy. Morning, you know. Morning time is Sorry, red, like What's two, your name? Two hundred fifty. What's your name? What's your name? Uh, Arun. Arun. Jack. Yeah. Jack Arun. Jack, Jack Arun. Arun. Edward, nice to meet you. Yes. Have a good day. But I give you two fifty. Have a good day. Only two fifty. You're a good man. You're a good yeah, man. Okay, so Johnny can definitely have a testimony for this place. These have cracker kebabsy, cracker. And that club in over there, okay. that club over there, very good. Yeah, it's too late, ah. boss, too late, boss. Yeah. I already made up my mind, morning, sorry. Morning, bro. I already one? have my mind. You see the What's this one? Polar rice. But this one is fake brand, Prada. You told me, saw so, me Prada. Yeah, Prada, yeah. You know this one in Australia? Yeah. $400. You, you, can you see, can you see how it looks like? Boss, this one, this sticker. One? Yeah, this yeah. one, not, not original. Not original, yeah. Yes, yes. Original is how, how we give the price, yeah. Sorry, boss. I cannot. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Thank you, I anyway. Thank you, thank you. Look, again. Look, guys. You have to respect the, the salesman. You have to. You have to respect the grind. He's waking up at bloody, what, seven in the morning to try and sell people sunglasses. And he's trying everything in attack, everything in the books. Fake or not fake. Like, it's commendable. Okay, so another another thing about Thailand is no traffic lights. So if I want to cross now, let me show you how we cross. Ready? After this car, go. Good luck. Those are just, uh, an, that's an illusion. The crossing is an illusion. It doesn't work. People will fly past you, no problem. Is this where we ate the first night, John? Is this where we ate on the first night? Here? Is this where, where we ate on the first night? So Atlas is where we ate on the first night here. How are you, boss? We're very full, boss, very full. Oh, wait, we ate here. We ate here. We ate here, first night. Very good food. 10 out of 10, boss. Okay, so what? Look, we did eat there. I'm gonna leave you an honest review. The food was very nice. We smashed it. For Thailand standards, I would give that an honest eight out of 10. Value for money, three out of 10. It's very expensive. We spent 1,500 baht on two meals. It's very expensive. Like you can find places here, you're gonna, you're gonna get full to the belly for 250, 350 baht. So just, that's the expectations. Value for money, three. Taste, for Thailand standards, eight out of 10. We also ate here. I'll leave my review in a second, just uh, in case people overhear me. That's how you know it's not gonna be the best one. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so now I can say my review. Yorkshire Cafe. Again, another Aussie-owned pub. I want to be straight up and honest. One. One out of ten, max, 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 max. Shocking, shocking. Don't ever waste your money or time, believe me. This is no longer Bal Bal Barangara Road, or Balanga Road, what is it called? Bangla. Bangla, Bangla, Baranga, Bangla. I said everything but Balanga. <laughs> Barangaroo. <laughs> um, but this, look, you can technically say it's part of the strip, sort of. Like, it's, it's an extension of the strip. Not much goes down here, other than final sales or people trying to f <laughs> sell you stuff just before you exit. Again, like, there's just trash everywhere. Expect to smell like this stuff. Just imagine what that stuff smells like 24-7 when you're here. On top of that, the smell of weed and cannabis 24-7. You're definitely going to get secondhand high. Like, that's an expectation here. So if you ever wanted to feel like what it felt, feels like to get high, that, that's, you're going to experience that here. Like, whether you like it or not. Again, like, you're either gonna see a tattoo parlor, a massage parlor, a weed place, or, <laughs> honestly, there's not much else. You either got your bars or your food places. There's four options. Pick one, or you know what? I, I forgot to mention the biggest scamars of them all. The biggest scamars of them all are the currency exchanges. Every single, Currency exchange is a scamaz except for one. They have very good rates. Only like 3% difference. <laughs> These are pretty cool. We don't have this as an option in Sydney, the BB guns. It's worth it in my opinion, it's mad. They're pretty much everywhere as well, so if you have like a spare 200 bar, why not? I'll give it a crack. Before I leave, I'm gonna go for another round, why not? And mind you, like most of these stores, or whatever it is, most of these businesses, rather, they live on top of it, literally. That's their houses right there. And they just come right back down to work, and right back up again. A never ending matrix cycle. And that pretty much concludes, what's it called again? <laughs> Bangla Road, Bangla Road. That, that concludes the Bangla Road tour. That's pretty much it. That's everything. Now, if I get the chance, I'll do a massive nighttime review because it's completely different. If I get the chance, no promises. If you liked the video, subscribe, leave a like. I'll see you in the next video. Let's get it.